Hey yo, I'm Nick. Hello and welcome, I'm Kat. And featuring our best buds, Linu and Mike. This is a series about how we designed our very own caravan and put it to the test. We take you on a journey through the building phase right through to the fun parts. You'll see how I designed the electrical system so you can build one for your very selves. So join us on this elf wing adventure as we travel the countryside and take in some spectacular sights. Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go! Hello and welcome back. So we are checking out Walker Creek in Litchfield National Park. Um, so this one is uh, actually a walk-in tent site camp. Um, so what that means is that when you get to, your, um, to the car park, you can walk your tent gear in um, and set up camp that way. There's no cars um, driving through, which is kind of nice because every camp spot has its own view of the, the water um, and they're all completely different. So it was really nice. We didn't camp there, but we just spent the whole day uh, with Linu and Mike. And yeah, we just spent the day swimming, um, following the track along, jumping into little little spots. Um, yeah, lots of swimming. Um, just a fun, fun little creek to spend your day at. Yeah. We're doing some rearranging today and thought we'd just give you an opportunity to check out the boot space and a few little features of the van. Um, as you can see, it goes right through, so you can shove your fishing rods or whatever, surfboards, whatever you want in there. Um, we got all these doors from a, a company called Maygood, and they're in China, I'll tell you a bit more about them, but they do custom, um, yeah, uh, doors, uh, windows, you can see the window through there that we put in, um, doors like this, this was our <coughs> own size that we wanted, um, it's cool because it's got like a, a fly wire there, uh, we also, we're going to put this in, it's like a little, 
those, you know, those little tables to perch your beer on and that, but I kind of decided against it. Um, we've got heaps of space here, so didn't really need that. Um, thing to keep out, keep an eye out for though is when you when you're measuring them, uh, you, you want to watch out for uh, the rubber because this is a 600 by 600 door, and which normally would fit the barbecue, but because because of that rubber, I had to actually make some alterations and take the knobs off just so it can fit in. But um, yeah, so just remember that this, the 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 dimensions is the cutout size and not the, you know just keep in mind you've got to keep 20 mil or so um, to give you an idea of what we can store in the boot everything in here came out of our boot today so as you can see is you know gallons of petrol water tents tents spare clothes skateboards yoga mats axes everything you can name um, a hot water system which we'll show you another time but yeah it all goes there in the boot and yeah, that's sums it all up. Just uh, yeah, we'll show you the. Okay guys, once you've got your compass ready and the, the look and feel that you like, open it up in Photoshop and we'll go ahead and grunge it up a little bit. To do that, you kind of just want a texture kind of like this one, like a nice speckly tile like that. Um, 
just go down and change the contrast to bring out the blacks and whites a bit and then once you've done that select the layer again the the speckly texture layer click select color range and yeah just just grab those blacks and then go over to this layer hit control shift i to inverse that and then un uh, hide the tile texture there and click mask and as you can see it's got a cooler sort of yeah grunge look to it um, you may not want it to be so um, predominant in the the nautical star here so what you want to do is grab this polygon lasso tool um, make a duplicate copy of this get rid of the mask and then just go and select this um, I'll just quickly fast forward past this part Uh, once you've selected the compass, um, you can just go ahead and, and hit mask like that. And now, as you can see, behind it is all grungy, but the, the compass still uh, stands firm. And that's, uh, yeah, good. And if you, want, if you want to bring in a bit of that grunge, you can just um, grab the opacity and just drop it back a bit and it starts to seep through um, depending on how you like it but I think I'm just gonna go all filled in like that and that's it that's how you get that grunge look um, and then that's ready for decaling now I just gotta take it to a place that's gonna do it and stick it on the side Walker Creek. Um, next up we're going to go and check out Wangi Falls in Litchfield National Park. Bye!